Hello, Dr. White. This is a review video for the book, The New One Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard, uh, pages one through 35. Let's get started. First off, I do have a brief disclaimer. I'm not quite sure of which was rule number one, whether rule number one was that people who feel good about themselves produce good results, or if rule number one is the same as the first step of the one minute manager process, which is to set one minute goals. In a little bit, I'll explain what both of those are and how I plan to use both of those in my future business career and both here and here at school as well. So now for the review. The book starts, there's a young man who interviews with a lot of managers, both in different countries, big companies and small companies, private sector and government. And he was not impressed with most of them because I, most of them either seemed to care about the bottom line, then did not care about their people or only cared about the people. And meanwhile, the bottom line and the organization suffered. Eventually this young man hears about a good manager who lives not far from him. He goes to see this manager. This manager seems to have a lot more time on his hands. And this manager explains that he facilitates decision making. He lets, this gives, means he does not have to micromanage all of his employees. It helps make them make good decisions and call himself a facilitator. And he also mentions that people who feel good about themselves produce good results because people tend to work better when they have good morale. And he, to show how well this process works, he asks the young man to meet with six of his employees, uh, three of which ended up being out of town. And so far in this book, he only met with two of them. This is just for pages one through 35. And the first employee helps explain how the decision making process works. She explains that to help, that the manager helps make good decisions by herself because she explains that uh, the problem is the difference between where you want things to be and where, where they actually are. And a good solution is a solution that actually fixes the problem. If it's not going to fix the problem, then it's not a good solution. With this in mind, and the fact that one of her goals was to solve problems, they also explained about how some of the one minute goals works. The one minute, uh, first step, the one minute manager process, which might have been rule number one, is to set one minute goals. These one minute goals can be read in a minute or less, and they say exactly what needs to be done, what it should look like, whose responsibility it is, and what the deadline is. Then this manager encouraged employees to read the goals by, uh, often because it only takes about a minute to read and, and make sure that they're, what they're working on is working towards the goal. If, if you're not going to help get to the goal, then you should make changes so you can actually help achieve the goal. This meant that the employees spend more time actually getting something done that's going to help and it meant that the manager did not have to micromanage everyone because the employees knew that, how to reach the goal. Uh, the second employee mentions uh, that you should help people reach the full potential by catching them doing something right and explains the, the second step of the one minute manager process is which is to uh, offer one minute of praise meaning you should find someone doing something right and let them know that they're doing what's right let them know exactly what they're doing right and let them know that you appreciate that they're appreciated this meant, means that employees will feel good about themselves and they'll know that they're making good decisions and they'll know that they're doing what's right instead of waiting for a long time not knowing if they're doing something right or wrong. I plan to use rule number one, meaning if I'm going to have good attitudes so I can do good at school and in business and I'm going to set aside about an hour uh, a day or an hour in the week to set one minute goals and work at them frequently to make sure what I'm actually doing is reaching the goal and that's going to help in my business career.